Hey guys, Ed Jord here. We're gonna actually go over this Opscore Fast Ballistic Mandible in Multicam. Um, I actually haven't seen any reviews or any videos on it, so I figure I'm gonna do it for you guys, all right? So let's get started. All right, so this mandible is actually uh, rated for like small nine millimeter. And this is actually like Kevlar. It's actually really flexible, so you could still get a good cheek weld. Um, it's removable via Velcro. So if ever it gets too dirty, you can actually wash this just cover. Um, this one right here, I'm not too sure what material it is. It feels like a like an aluminum kind of thing. And then plastic to mount it on. And then here you have rails to go uh, in and out so you could actually move this more towards your face I actually have it set up to where it's farthest from my face one uh, because of my glasses and another one because uh, the mic can fit right under here from the amps all right so let's take a weight of this eleven ounces 11.4 ounces so it's actually a pretty lightweight thing that doesn't interfere too much um, and what's nice about it is this one only fits the new generation um, fast helmets because if you can see right here there's a cutout uh, and I'll actually show you on the legacy models because I have the XP which is a legacy model hold on All right, this is a legacy model. You can see there's no holes in here for this tab to go into. You could always upgrade the rails, but um, you know that would be your choice. But out of the box, the XP will not accept the mandible. Um, like I said, you have to upgrade the rails to the upgraded fast ones. And if you wanna pay extra on top of already a helmet that's like over a grand that's up to you guys all right so continuing on so on this is the fast xr it will fit on the fast sf they'll go right here in that hole the other one goes in the other one and then it clips to the bottom rail now even though it clips to the bottom rail and doesn't really occupy like a full arc rail it will interfere with arc rail accessories there we go what i mean by that is like this princeton light because of the fat body here you're not able to push this forward because it will interfere with this tap so that's why i have it mounted back here um, I still get good light from it um, and even and I can't really push it more forward because it doesn't click so that's why it's back there because it actually clicks down and is more secure so that's why it sits back there still get enough light from it to task light um, so it's actually pretty nice. Uh, I like it just because of the extra protection. So more like a full face covering. Plus, there's an IG cool factor to it. Uh, posting pictures. So I'll be posting it when I use it out on the range. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. Oh, this one's like a nice, soft, uh, almost like a Gore-Tex-y material. Uh, I haven't taken it out in the rain yet, so I can't attest to the waterproofness yet but it has a rain jacket Gore-Tex feel to it again if you guys have any questions post them down in the comments uh, like and subscribe on my channel please help me grow and uh, god bless guys thanks